It's time to say a few words about Keaton Parks, because that dude has been killing it for the Pigeons recently, and I've come to the conclusion that he's pretty good. Keaton came over from Benfica in Portugal, and to be honest with you, didn't really make an impact when he first signed with New York City FC. He was getting spot minutes here and there towards the beginning of the season, but he really broke out against North Carolina FC in the Open Cup back on June 12th. He scored two goals in that game, and ever since then, he's been ever-present in New York City's lineup. There are a few things I want to highlight from Saturday night's game against Colorado Rapids out in Colorado. Really long weather delay affected that game, but Keaton did great, and I think there are a few things in there that really highlight what he brings to this team. So check out this sequence. Keaton picks off this pass, plays a great one-touch ball forward to Ebert, gets into the box, and then watch what happens next. Tati Castellanos plays Tinnerholm. Tinnerholm loses the ball, but Keaton is aware of the situation. He's a little bit slow tracking his runner, but he gets back, recovers the ball here, and then watch what he does again. He gets himself in a good position to be an outlet, looks to Maxi Morales, plays the ball out wide instead, gets in a good place to get the ball again, and recycles possession. Simple play, kind of, but really good awareness all the way around from Keaton. It's clean, it helps the team build, and honestly, that's what you want to see when you're lined up in the middle of that 3-4-3 that Dome Toronto likes to play. I want to highlight one more thing from that clip. Look at how much Keaton wants the ball. He always wants to be in possession, and he does a pretty good job putting himself in spots where his teammates can find him. And then once he gets it, he's usually very vertical. He doesn't waste time before making decisions, and if there's space in front of him, he's very quick about taking it. And then there's this from right after Sebastian Anderson gets sent off with a red card. <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me, man? Who else in the player pool hits that pass? Who has the vision to see that and execute it the way he does? I don't know, man, but he does that stuff all the time, and it's great. Another part of Keaton's game that I want to highlight is his composure in the final third. I wish he had a little bit better of a shot on him, but watch how smooth he is in these attacking scenarios when he's getting closed down. There he is right on the edge of the box after that cross goes in. He gets the ball here from Tati Castellanos and boom! Steps around, gives himself a better angle for the shot. Now, it wasn't a great shot and it got blocked, but he wasn't content with that angle and he put himself in a better position with that little sidestep. Here he is doing it again in the 72nd minute. This is a great pass from Ebert to find him, but he puts Danny Wilson on the floor with a little cutback and gets a shot on goal. Again, could have been placed better, but great composure once again. And it's dangerous and it's great when you have a player that can do that in those scenarios who's not phased by pressure coming at him in attacking situations. And then, of course, Keaton gets a lot of heat because he's lanky and he kind of looks like a baby giraffe when he moves and there's a knock on him that he doesn't really play defense and then he doesn't show a lot of effort which you know I don't really understand and I don't think it's true um, I think he gets a bad rap honestly just because of the way he moves but there were a couple times versus Colorado where he really showed that he can put a tackle in and he's usually in a pretty good position to do so in transition this is a great little play he makes here after a poor ball from Ebert he steps in and cuts off a potential situation that really could have hurt NYCFC. It's not always flashy when he's playing defense. He doesn't cover a ton of ground because he's not the fastest guy in the world, but he's usually in a pretty good position, and that's something you can't teach, and it's something that really helps NYCFC and has been huge for them. So that's really what caught my eye from Keaton from this game against Colorado, but NYCFC have some really important games coming up, and Keaton's going to be key. He's going to have to keep making plays if they're going to be successful. So in the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter for more soccer nonsense, and let me know if you want me to keep making these videos.